Um, blogging is a, a useful educational tool, both for the teacher and the student. Um, it's easy to set up. Um, it doesn't need a huge amount of technical know-how to use. It can be as public or as private as you want it to be. And it aids and allows reflective learning for both you and for your students. Um, blogs are simple to use. They are flexible. Um, this toolkit, for example, is hosted on a WordPress blog. And so I can post pictures, video, blog entries, comments, slides, PowerPoint presentations, all of that. Um, it's easy to update and it's directly linked to Twitter and it has a built-in forum for communicating and collaborating um, and it's also completely and absolutely free. Um, it's asynchronous uh, which means that you and your student don't need to be in the same place or don't need to be talking at the same time. Uh, lots of surveys indicate that type of relationship is something students often value. It also leaves a record of you and your students conversations with each other. Again something students often in surveys say is really valuable to them. It can help you see your students ideas and thoughts as they are forming them. You can see where people are struggling, you can see where people are excelling. Uh, you will be able to see differences between students across the class and also trends. What is everybody finding difficult or easy? Uh, what are people finding helpful or unhelpful? And you can probably learn a couple of things from your students' interactions about the topic yourself. Uh, it will allow you to track someone's change in thinking and learning over time. And it will also allow them to do exactly the same, to track their own learning and development over time. Uh, you may find also that students are engaging with each other and interacting, sharing ideas, resources, answers to questions, questions they need answers to. Uh, YouTube videos, um, other blogs, all these interesting things um, that they find online about the particular topic. And you can be a part of helping to create that community of learners who are engaging with each other. Um, and a big part of how you can help there is by, by engaging with your students in the way that you want them to engage with each other. And that's part of, of what this course is about. As an educator, blogging your own learning, your own ideas and experiences, your own resources can also be hugely beneficial. It uh, can help you create a reflective space where you think in a structured, careful way about your own practice, the, your ideas, the resources that you find, and it can help you create a community of people around you who are reading, engaging, thinking, tweeting you, quoting you. Um, in exactly the same way that you might want to create for your students. In some cases, it might even help you develop professional opportunities uh, and contacts. And it's also evidence to prospective and current employers of your engagement with digital media, with technology in educational contexts, um, something that can be, can be incredibly valuable to, uh, to be able to show um, employers. Uh, for me, uh, a blog forces me to be innovative, to hunt for resources and ideas, to think carefully um, and to write and think critically. And the fact that my blogs are shared and that they're public and that I, I know people who, who read them makes me care a lot more about the quality of the content that I write, about what I post and be a lot more careful about my thoughts. Um, I hope the blogging toolkit um, is useful to you. Um, I hope you enjoy it and I, uh, I hope to see you on my blogs and I hope to visit you on yours. Uh, thank you for watching and um, enjoy the toolkit.